What are we having for dessert tonight, Georgia? This is mango lime mousse. Do you like it? Yeah. Hi, welcome to today's episode. And we will be making a mango lime mousse for dessert. A frozen mango lime mousse. And I am getting the recipe out of one of the three books I use the most often. It is called the... Weight Watchers new complete cookbook, although it's not really new because we've had it for about 10 years that I know of. Well, we've been married almost eight, so at least eight years, and I think Amber had it before that. But anyways, here are the ingredients you will need. We are going to need two mangoes, and then you need some unflavored gelatin, and then we're going to need a lime because we will need one teaspoon of the lime zest where we... Uh, get the stuff off the top and then two tablespoons of fresh lime juice and then we need one cup of low-fat milk which I put a half a cup so I need to put another cup in there or another half a cup in there and then I forgot to get it out of the refrigerator but we need a half a cup of skim ricotta cheese which I bought and I just get to get it out of the refrigerator and I'm not going to really show you how to do it because it's going to be easy but I will tell you how to do it, and then we're going to do it. And you put it in the refrigerator for two hours after we do everything I show you. And then the last part of this episode will be our family enjoying it and giving a review of it. Because we have never had this before, so we'll see how we like it. We have one more ingredient I forgot to mention at the first, and that is a fourth of a cup of sugar. But we're going to take our mangoes, which I've cut up which I'm going to tell you in just a second a lesson I learned on that. Two tablespoons of lime juice, the ricotta cheese, and our lime zest where you just grate the top of the lime, um, a teaspoon of that. We're going to take all that and put it in this blender over here. And then we're supposed to take a half a cup of water and put this gelatin on top of it for a fourth a cup of wa cold water and let that stand till soft and it says about two minutes and then we're going to bring that to a boil and we're going to put those two things in the blender after we've done the special things and you blend it all up and you put it in four eight ounce glasses or containers and put it in the refrigerator and refrigerate for two hours and then real quick before we go on this portion just want to tell you about mangoes if you have never um, cut a mango like I didn't tonight one they're pretty easy to peel as you can see there uh, you have to just cut it and then you could it's like an avocado you could take a spoon or something and just peel it but the thing I found out about a mango day it has a long skinny seed that you got to cut around and it's kinda difficult because I thought it was small but basically what I did was start it from the middle and kept going until it wouldn't let me and then backed out and cut a couple slices, peeled it off, and then cut around that seed. So I am going to put all those in the blender, put that over a half a cup of cold water for a couple minutes, and boil that before I put those two in the blender. I'm going to blend it all up, and then put it in the refrigerator. We're having mango lime mousse. That's a frozen treat. And it is very tasty and very satisfying. It's kind of creamy, but kind of slushy. And the um, it's not overly sweet, which I like, because most sorbets and stuff to me are way too sweet. So I think this is very good. I like you it. You like it? Yeah. You can take a bite? Yeah. Mmm. Good. What do you like about it? It's good. It has the mangoes in it. I like that. Now I'm in it. It's kind of good. I see part of it, but not all, all of it. And it's pretty good. And the girl, and it's. I tasted it and goodbye. This is my review of the mango lime mousse. I really didn't care for it tonight, but that is only because I am not a big mango person. 
So what I'm going to do is probably make another round tomorrow or another batch tomorrow and put some bananas and strawberries in there or put another fruit. So that's what you can do. If you're not a big mango person, take out the two mangoes and put some other fruit in it that you think you'd enjoy and try it out. Then the other thing, I think this is what the recipe meant and I may have done it wrong, is that you're supposed to mix everything together and then pour in the water and gel gelatin and then the milk and then mix it in again. I don't know, that just made me, me. I was thinking that back in my head so I was, I'm going to try it that way. It probably doesn't matter either way because it all mixes up together. But if you're a mango person, you'll love this. Amber and Georgia both loved it because they love mangoes. And if you're not a mango person, just try another fruit and replace it with the two mangoes. So I thank you for watching our episode. I encourage you to leave comments down below on what you liked or didn't like, maybe what you'd like to see us cook in the future. And if you go out and try this recipe, come back and leave comments and tell us what you thought about it and if you made any adjustments, what you did. And remember, here we're not on a diet, but we're trying to make a lifestyle change and we want to start eating healthy. But let's go out there and get fit and stay fit. This week's sponsor for our show is my Amazon affiliate link. So I was going to tell you a little bit about the book that I used for this recipe. It is called the New Complete Cookbook by Weight Watchers, but it's not exactly new since it was copyrighted in 1998, but it's still a good book. And if you buy this book, it'd be for no other reason than for this peanut sauce. I lived in Indonesia for a couple of years and I loved sauteed chicken with a peanut sauce they had. And when I got back over here, I tried to duplicate it, duplicate it, tried to find it and couldn't. And this recipe is as close as it comes and it's delicious. And then if you're on the Weight Watchers plan, it is a good cookbook too because with every dish it tells you how many Weight Watchers points you use. I don't do Weight Watchers, but if you do, it'd be a good source. So I would highly recommend the not-so-new complete Weight Watchers cookbook. If you'd like to see this book, you could hit our Amazon affiliate link at the bottom of this post and go there and buy it, and we would much appreciate it.